Hello, my beautiful people. How are you doing? I hope you guys are good. I just want to share a reason why Moses Blaze married a Ghanaian. According to Reno Omokri, he posted, I can understand why Moses Blaze married a Ghanaian. I've been to Ghana and their women tend to be easier to relate with than many Southern Nigerian women. Mm, wow. In fact, is love without billing still possible in Southern Nigeria? Guys, I don't, I don't know whether you get what he said. He's asking whether love without billing, that is love without cash. Because some people, when you talk about love, all they hear is money, money, money. Are you ready to spend on me? So that's what he's trying to say. That in Southern Nigeria, Many of the women, what they relate love to is money. How much do you have? How much can you spend on me? And according to him, Ghana women don't do such. Love to them is love. Please, I want you to tell me in the comment section, is it true? Ghanaians, don't you value money? <laughs> is love still love to you? Let me continue. He also said, in our part of the world, he is loving means he is spending. When you tell many Southern Nigeria girls, I love you, they hear you owe me. Wow. Wow, this is serious. Especially those with industrial money obtainer culture. I see. If you marry the industrial money obtainers, I pity you. The billing will become industrial. Okay. You will look after her and her entire family. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But that is actually our culture. When you marry a woman, you're, you, you're married to the whole family. And the mistake they make is if the family is not well off, I knew the man is wealthy. Of course, it is your responsibility to get, take care of the entire family. There's your responsibility to take care of our parents, our siblings, if they're in school, to pay for their school fees and all that. That is what he's trying to explain. And some families do that. Most families do that because they believe that their in-law is their savior. You know, that the, especially when the person is rich, they believe that God sent that person to save them, save that person to save their family, to help their family. So that is common in southern Nigeria. It's very common to tell you the truth. So he said, you will look after her and her entire family. That is the truth, of course, because they have to take care of their family. They have to take care of the parents and her siblings. If she has siblings, <laughs> no capping. And better not expect gratitude in their eyes. No, 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 no. This one, I disagree. I disagree. Why wouldn't they be grateful? Why wouldn't they be grateful? I don't understand. Because they believe you are doing your duty. Yeah, to some, it is your duty, but most are grateful. You know, most of them are grateful. So, Moses, please, I have to ask you this question. Is this the reason why you married uh, your wife? Did you marry her because she believes in love and she's not so much into money? I want you to answer this question, Moses, please. Moses, please remember, last year I talked about you getting married and this year you got married. And I want somebody listening to me now that is believing God for a life partner. I want to get married. You're going to get married. Believe God. But just like uh, when you believe in love, believe in love, oh, love is not money. That person you are looking at now that doesn't have money, you don't know what tomorrow holds for that person. That person might become a millionaire tomorrow. So don't go with love. Let money, don't go with money. Let money not be the driving factor for you to get married. When you love, let it be love. Let it be genuine love. Let money not be the yardstick or the reason for you to get married. Because I hear a lot, a lot of young people say, who love help? Who love help? Meaning they are after money. They prefer money 
to love. And I'm trying to tell you today, let love lead. If you love somebody and the person loves you, go ahead and get married. And with both of you working together as one, putting your resources together and trusting God, you will make it. Everything is not about money. Even those of them swimming in money are not happy in their marriage. Many of them are suffering in their marriage. Many of them are being abused in their marriages. All right, so what am I trying to tell you? Please. Follow God. Follow your heart. You know, and the Bible said, Seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. When you find the right person, every other thing will be added unto you as you make God the foundation of your marriage. So what do you guys think? Do you believe in what this man said, Reno Mockery said? Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.